all right welcome to another video ladies gentlemen boys and girls in today's video i'm going to be going over uh masking in general okay this is an introduction to masking okay now just a disclaimer i am fairly new to zbrush uh if you have been watching my videos you should know this by now if you haven't well welcome to the channel do also hit that subscribe button like i was saying i'm fairly new to zbrush and i just wanted to show you guys some things that i have learned along the way that might help you uh, in case you're finding it difficult to source for information okay so uh let me load up uh the standard ui so we are looking at the same thing okay now i've just added a sphere i am in edit mode and i'm just going to make this a uh, polymesh 3d okay that is by clicking this button over here okay um so basically what a mask is uh let me show it in action i feel that would make it easier so i'm holding down control okay and you can look over here and you see it changes to mask pen okay i'm holding down control and i'm just clicking on the mesh okay now this that has formed here is a mask okay so i'm going to ch use the standard brush now and try to make a stroke okay you can see boom okay you see now the mask basically acts as like uh would i call it tape over uh, um, over a surface so everything uh on that mask everything that is masked cannot be affected by anything that i'm doing here okay you can see this is black and i keep clicking the surface but nothing is happening okay nothing is happening okay so that is what a mask is now let's talk about the different types of masks okay let me go back some okay just to cover that again um how did i paint the mask i held control and i just clicked on the mesh okay now uh this can be helpful and if you're just doing this and you're just going and let's say you're done with this mask now how do we clear out this mask i mean i want to touch this part of my geometry again uh is there no way to clear this out of course there's a way so we hold down control and we go somewhere outside and we just drag okay this will clear the mask now be advised that if you are using dynamesh let's go down here to uh where is it dynamesh if you don't know what this is uh this shouldn't be a problem yet but if you are using dynamesh and you try to clear out a mask this will dynamesh your object okay that is helpful because it's a really quick way to dynamesh an object but just be advised so uh let me load up my custom ui oh, i don't have it here that's strange that is strange i should have well uh, i i i thought i had dynamesh anyhow something you can do is uh you can put dynamesh on your ui somewhere so that you can have it by standby so you know if dynamesh is on and if it's not okay that's just a helpful tip let me go back to the standard ui now okay back to masking okay so paint a mask uh control and paint clear out a mask control and drag outside okay so let's say you have a mask and you're like i want to affect the portion that is masked because that's a mistake i make often i mask out the portion i actually want to affect and i realize that oh i'm supposed to do it the other way but sometimes you just need a little part masked so you don't have to mask the entire surface you can mask out where you want to affect and we can just sorry about that we can just control what am i doing uh apologies i'm not with my tablet so i think it's wow this is really disorientating uh okay so let's let me try some things all right okay 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 so i'm operating on a mouse that's why i'm a bit confused so apologies so if we mask out this portion i want to affect this portion we can control and click on the outside of the mesh and you can see our mask is inverted okay that is the command that is called invert mask okay and if we want to affect the rest of the mesh and leave this part out we can control click okay then we clear the mask control drag okay i hope that was simple so just to recap 
control paint a mask control uh click outside to invert the mask control drag to clear the mask okay so now let's do something interesting here if we hold control and uh, we can select this brush palette and we have uh different options okay i'm not going to cover all these options but we have different options to mask okay some people prefer using mask lasso let me just use this one and you can see i can just drag and just paint this and just mask this okay mask this portion okay clear the mask okay so uh, by default it is actually mask pen but with mask pen you can actually drag and it will give you uh, this rectangle here and everything in this rectangle will be masked masked okay and the masking affects uh, goes all the way through the mesh so be advised so let's clear this mask out. And here's another interesting thing you interesting thing you can do. If we hold control and drag this down, we mask this place. Okay, I just accidentally inverted the mask. So we mask this place. Then if we hold control alt, this is a, an inverted command. So it will clear out that masked portion. Now if we hold control control and we drag. And let's say you made a mistake and you don't want to actually mask this part. You can actually hold the space bar and just move this around. Okay. So that is control drag, uh, still holding control, still dragging. You hold the space bar and you can just move this around and mask this portion. Okay. So, uh, I think that is almost all for masking. So please bear with me. Okay. So let's cover another thing about masking. So one thing you can do with a mask actually, let me clear my mask is that let's mask this portion and you know i'm going to go up in subdivision levels and if you don't know how to go up in subdivision levels i have a video on the channel already about subdivisions so just if you're confused but i'm going to go up in subdivision levels and i'm going to mask this portion okay now you can see the mask is a bit uh, blurry outside so i want it to be sharp okay so i'm going to hold Control alt okay let's experiment with this and click and you can see the mask sharpens okay now if i hold Control and click on the inside of the mask it clears out okay so let's do this again let's paint this and let's sharpen this mask if we hold Control alt and click outside sharpens the mask Control and click inside it blurs the mask now uh don't be confused we can actually um sharpen and blur the mask from any points in the any part of the mesh so let me clear this mask but the only problem is that if we put this mask now and we sharpen it with Control alt and click inside uh we can Apologies, let me undo. It's just advice that we do control. When we want to blur the mask, if we hold control, you can't see it much, but it's actually adding a mask here. Okay, so actually blurring out this mask. So if you want to blur out a mask, you click inside control and just click inside. Now, if we hold Control Alt, we're actually clearing the mask if we hold inside. Okay, it's not much, but it's doing that. Okay, so our mask is actually clearing as it is sharpening. So just hold Control Alt and click outside. That is a helpful tip for you guys. I can't remember who I learned that from, but I think it's the flip normal guys. So uh, that is all for masking, guys. If that was fun, if you enjoyed this video if somehow you found it informative do well to hit that subscribe button and drop this video a like so others can get to hear about it um if you have some helpful tips uh for me uh just joining the zbrush community do well to let me know in the comment section below some tutorials that you might think will be helpful for me but uh, i think that is all i have for you guys uh, if you enjoyed this video you know what to do subscribe like comment and thanks for watching